Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm down here in L.A. with my boy, A.D. It's going yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we on the show. We on Boss Talk 101, man. We got a special treat for y'all, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys join the membership. It's going down. I promise you, the behind the scenes on there, you won't see some of the things that you're going to get on that membership page. But, man, my guy's in the building, Mitchie Slick. What's going on, man? Mitchie Slick. What's up, A.D.? Thank What's you up, for AD? coming up, on man? Boss Talk 101. Good, good looking for sitting down with me man just a it's an honor and a pleasure first of all man like why so you from san diego san diego man so let's get into it man like like how was it coming up in san diego man uh san diego was pretty fast paced based on the time that i that i grew up everywhere was kind of moving in that crack era if you was 9 10 11 12 13 all the during that era you were seeing a lot of things happen, a lot of things change. So it's just like any other Southern Cali, uh, you know, heavily urban populated area where I grew up. I grew up in Lincoln Park. That's Southeast San Diego, Logan and Euclid, Lincoln High School. Nationally, they might know that area right there, you know what I'm saying? But it was the same as it is in any other story, you know what I'm saying, from Southern California. But was it... Okay, when you from Texas, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you know, I watch Colors, nigga. You don't know nothing about come that. On, AD. You come young, on, man. man. Colors, I'm young, man. You hot top, all that. Oh, come oh, on. I know well, wait come a on, man. When you watch that, you 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 would look up here and you would think, man, LA got you know gangs, but you didn't think about San Diego. You didn't think about all these other places around here. Did they have like gang violence and stuff in San Diego? See, see, I trip off that because that's like saying. Um, like say for instance, if no matter where you from, if you in mm -hmm. Texas and you fucking up, when niggas go to jail, they all go to the same jail. That's real. That's real. So how could how could something be going on in jail where everybody's at that's not going on in the city that's an hour and a half, two hours away? It's all the same. It's thing. right, and it ain't even far. You know, you got to think about it. When you were down in Texas, you ain't even looking at the map. Like when you young, see when colors come out. Yeah. I'm too young to be even thinking. We ain't had a, the phones wasn't out. I you got know, a story about different. that, homie. But that's why that's because of the media and the movies and everything have pushed. Like even even you know NWA, everything has been LA, 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 LA. I don't know one place in California you can't go where ain't no hoods Listen, out there. If it's a black community <laughs> in Southern California, it belongs to some Bloods or some Crips. Facts. There's not no black community nowhere in Southern California that don't belong to Bloods or Crips. Facts. Wow. That's wow. what it is. None. It ain't no sign up. And, you know, it's, it's no, you you born over here and that's what it is. And you can say you're not from over there all you want, but you're going to be treated like that by people that ain't from that area. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I got a story, though, about my Texas experience with what you're talking about. Okay. I got to bring it up because you said two things. You said the, the movie Colors. Correct. And you said... Texas, check it out, AD. So this this is when I first started cutting up. My mama really didn't know I was cutting up all the way. And we go to the Pop Warner Cubo, and me and another San Diego legend from the other side got into it, homie. You know what I'm saying? Had a real brawl, and all the parents found out what was going on and why it happened. It was some street shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about 13 or 14, and um, moms was like, that's it. You out of here. Send me the... Um, all this gang banging shit and all that. No, we ain't even gonna start that. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, where hey. my whole family is from. I mean, when I'm in, Shout when I'm, out in Lubbock. I'm in the tenth grade. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, homie. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting away from all the bullshit. She sent me to, down there with her cousin. It's like basically like her sister. On the way home from the airport, homie. This is not long after colors. We coming from home from the airport, pulling up over there. I forgot what's over there by Dunbar High School, homie. Okay. It's thirty crips at the park having initiations as I'm as I'm pulling up <laughs> in Texas. In Texas, nigga. see, and this is the first, and I'm talking about this is the beginning because there was no other. No, I put it might have been the day they started crips in love because the day I <laughs> the whole recruitment process. Bro. And it was niggas from thirties from out here that mm. was out there in the park getting it cracking. They was running it, and this is a block away from my where I gotta live now. Yeah. And my mama You thought she was getting away from the bullshit. No, no, no. He, no, he, on, he, on, he on the real because that's what they, that's no, what they do. Active. It was like, active. Like it he, was stupid active over there in Lubbock. They was gang banging, homie, back in like, motherfucking like, 
89, 88. Yeah, you got to think about it, man. I was down by Shreveport. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Shreveport, Louisiana, just where I'm from, it's like maybe 25 miles away. Damn. So you got to think about Shreveport. They, they, they were migrating down there. They was I, they was going down there. You know, I talked to the OGs, all of them. They, man, that's where we was going. Like, so, you know. And it was fucked up because I come from a time when that's all we knew in the streets. You know, the gangbang code is what Southern California is about. Mm -hmm. That's just our street politics is gangbang shit. West Coast gangbanging. So to come up like that and to be able to go somewhere where I saw it wasn't no gangs really, I guess a couple of weeks ago, and to where now they cripping and blooding, it was niggas. I was down there in the, in the six month period of time I was down there. It was niggas that was friends when I when I had got there that had killed each other by the time I left. Damn. Wow. I some cripping and blood and shit that niggas didn't even have to pick up because it ain't from out there. And that's crazy, like you know right? I, mean? yeah. I always ask the question when whenever the OGs or something would come down to Texas and do the interviews, we were like, do y'all respect the you know when other people in other states are doing something that's from the streets that you guys live on? And I got different answers, you know what I mean? But it's it's just it's different because they're not based out from up here. But at the end of the day, that movie and different things, different cousins. My cousins on Hoover, I told you that. I just was over there this morning. They've been over there since the 60s. Mm -hmm. My uncle told me this morning, he said, I was here. I said, because my wife, first thing she said, oh, he on Hoover Street. Uh, it must be, he was a gangbang when he was growing up. My, it's just I, a street. So I brought, no, I brought, yeah. I brought it up to my uncle. I was over there this morning. I said, yeah, hey. Like, Hell yeah. No, he didn't. You know what he said? You want to know what he said? What he said, he said I, I moved there in 61. It wasn't really no gangs into right. the 70s. Right. He mm -hmm. really, like, he here, he's 70. Mm -hmm. he's, no, he's uh, 80, 80, 81. He'd been here. Mm -hmm. So think about it. He was 20. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how it started, what it started for, mm -hmm. and what it, trans. you know what I'm saying, yeah. translated to later. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It started off, you know, our people staying together. Black Panther, like, you know, spin off of the Black Panther movement. And yeah, man, that shit, that shit's crazy that, that it, everywhere you go now, there's, there's yeah. crimson yeah. bloods yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But just for the record, the same shit that was going on with the with the racial tension and shit in L.A. during the mm -hmm. 60s, we was having the same shit going on in San Diego. It was Big Panther and police riots in San Diego during the same time. So the same reasons why they started in, in L.A. would be the same reasons why they started in San Diego. Thanks. You know? Wow. Was it easier to get in trouble, you think, in San Diego? Like, was it? Did your name spread fast? Hell yeah. That's what it seems. And a lot of homies don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all over. I done lived all over the country. I done lived in the, in the A. I done lived in, in in Vegas. I done lived in the Bay. I done lived I done lived a lot of places, homie. I ain't never been nowhere where the police go crazy as they do in San Diego. Homie. Man, listen. Wow. Hey, let, hey, let me tell you something. Nowhere. They booked me in San Diego a lot, right? When I first start coming out there, I'll reach out to Slick. I'm like, hey, Slick, come pull up on me. The promoters are telling me, Slick not allowed in this one, in this place, in this place. Police going to shut it down. I'm like, like, it's like that. Slick. They be on them like that. For sure, for sure. But why? You know, being a native, somebody, you you from there, why would it, why would it be that way? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking questions to interview people. Hey, I got to keep it 100. I got to keep it 100. A lot of people know me for doing a lot of good shit in my city. But everybody know I'm really from where I'm from, and I was really an active person from where I was from, and my name rang about a lot of stuff. So it's not that I was the super most gangsters nigga that the city ever saw, but when you take that and then you put it with this niggas being a rapper that's looking like he being successful, a little bit of something like that, the police didn't in San Diego, they don't see the city in San Diego doesn't make money off hip hop. The clubs mm -hmm. doing all that type of shit. But like what I mean by making money off of rap, the same way maybe Dallas has or Houston has. LA for show. Every race of people that made money off of rap shit, hip hop, movies, clothing, all the shit in San Diego. I mean in LA. But in San Diego, ain't nobody made no money off. So they don't give a fuck about giving us no permit to do no shit over there or yeah. or he we got a rapper that's blowing up and we No, they like fuck all that. That nigga's from that nigga's the blood. And he's promoting that blood gang shit with these raps and that's all they give a fuck about is how they looked at us the influence. So wow. in San Diego. Wow. And it's fucked up because Shit like this, I, I would go to the club and it'd be me and 15 or 20 homies going to the club and we can't get in the club. But just last week, these same niggas was in the club knocking niggas' teeth out. The yeah. only person that wasn't here was me. I, when they with me, they had cool. Mm -hmm. 
So now this week we can't get in the club because I'm here. But I'm the reason why they're going to not even trip. They want to have a good time and be, you know, enjoy the rap shit tonight. But y'all are letting me in with just misconceptions and shit, homie. And that's just San Diego. The police in San Diego is crazy. Gang injunction. That's a, I don't know if you know about that. You know what I'm saying? But gang injunction was a San, I mean, a California gang ordinance. It was a specific law for just gang mm -hmm. shit. Wow. Where they, um, little bullshit ass probation, basically, they could put on you even if you ain't even committed a crime before. You could be a juvenile that never got in trouble by the law. But if they can get somebody to sign this petition saying that you're a menace to the, to the community, 24 signatures, then you can be on this list that can prevent you from doing all types of ignorant ass shit like having pit bulls and mm -hmm. meeting with the homie over at the park. You can't go to the game at this high school without principal uh, uh, profiling uh, like, hardcore. Like, no, I'm talking gang injunction, you go to jail. Yeah, like, you go to your neighborhood, you, you violate gang any of these things, you here. go to jail. I yeah. was on that shit for 20 years. I was the first nigga in San Diego on that list. The first nigga, I was the first black person on that list damn near in California. Damn. That's how fucked up San Diego is. That's crazy, I'm not man. the worst nigga in California. No, San Diego so fucked up. Soon as that shit went past, he was like, oh, we go. let's go. Let's get him now. Bam. Before the L.A., any black gangs in L.A., they put me on this fucking list, a nigga that ain't never been convicted of a felony. Damn. That's how cold San Diego is. Did it cause you to bump your head? It fucked me up. It kept me from See what being I'm able saying? to do a gang of shit that I wanted to do in my city. You know what I'm saying? And it fucked up a lot of money. Stunted, stunted a nigga's career majorly. Come on, I can't even basically use my city or showcase my city in videos or shit like this without potentially go. I mean, I didn't have photo shoots in front of my grandmama house. Homies out there, they take everybody to jail. Block this end of the block off, block that end of the block off, smash down, check everybody ID on the way down. Whoever get away, get away. And if they catch you on the block when you get down there, when it's all over, whoever ain't supposed to be here, y'all going to jail, there'd be 10 of us going to jail and we just taking a photo shoot in front of my house. Wow, it's crazy, man. Like I, I interview Faison a lot, and and to be real with you, matter of fact, shout out me, to Faison. Hey, love. matter of fact, man, I told him I was gonna do it. Homie. Oh, what Hold you gotta call him, homie? He told me as soon as I you get on with the homie. Look, he said as soon as you get oh, on. Oh, here we here go. We go. Hold on, where he at, big bro? Huh. Oh, you called him on? Oh, you in Facetime? <laughs> Facetime, nigga. Put the nigga on play. Where he at? I put him on the show right now. We'll put it up. You do big, it. Big bro, what's happening? Man, I'm calling that nigga in the middle of my show. Do, man? Say, man, I'm calling that nigga in the middle of my show. He wouldn't come <laughs> on my show like a week ago, man. Hey, you got royalty up there, man. When they say uh, California's finest, yeah. California's finest, I mean. Hey, man, that means a lot coming from from a big dog like yourself. No, Southeast, though, all the way. Southeast Dago, all the way, man. No, we, we know you Southeast, but yeah, that. everywhere. You got, you got music with everywhere, bitch. Look how many artists you did music with. Straight up, straight up. Everywhere, you, but, got, you know, you know, you got Dago. You got you know, you San Diego's finest all day long, but you got everywhere. Phase on. I want you to keep that keep that same energy. You told me you was a you was a DJ. Yeah, I was a DJ. <laughs> 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 hey homie, hey! I just had to thank you on, on the show, man, for hopping on my album. The homie all featured through my album, Phase on on my new album. Right fire, Phase on on the new album. That's fire. I couldn't That's get him on my show, but he jumped on the album. He gonna hang up. Some shit. <laughs> he been on my show more than everybody. I can't say right, that. Right, 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 right. That's, the, that's my nigga, man. <laughs> you gotta take care of the fighters right there, man. He, man, I mean, trust me, man. Anything he ever wants. I'm part of. Hey, pays on, but you. Him in Dago, but he, he he go everywhere. He man, in New York. He's riding a bike in New York. I'm like, what are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs> riding a bike in New York. <laughs> I, hey, I was at Quali. I had, where you see that at, homie? Hey, I you had a Quali. city bike. Nah, Quali left me at his house for a couple of days. I didn't have no car. I hopped in the bike. I'm smashing through uh, Brooklyn, nigga. On the bike. Crips everywhere. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they the show out there. There he yeah. is. Pays on. So, we heard this turn, homie. Faze on, man. I didn't even know. I didn't even know this guy knew you. Man, come on, man. I'm the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. He a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I slick, man. Come on, he, that's that's what that's a real one out there. You ain't talking to just no uh, uh, t, a studio gangster, dude. That's a real artist. Oh, a real. Yeah, I mean, he real. That's hard, man. That's hard, bro. That's dope as hell, man. 
Like I said, I ain't know. I ain't even know, man. It's big bro. San Diego in the building. It's, it's underground street shit with me, homie. You that's know, hard. That's what it. So I don't, I don't be feeling no type of way about it. No, no, no. That's you dope, though. You want to come to the gutter, though? Want we'll to come to the swap meet? <laughs> shop at the swap meet? You can do both ways. Yeah, that. Investments, all that shit. All that I shit. Tell you yeah, uh, both ways. Man, you know we love <laughs> you, Faison. Is 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 tell tell Jamaica cook some oxtail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We be cooking. We be eating, man. That's my guy right there. Y'all good? Yes, yeah. sir, man. We, hey, we, we, we here. We in the building, man. Oh yeah, that's his building. <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, that we rocking the whole city. Yeah. All right, dear man. Take it easy, Faison. All right, all right, all right. One love, much love, homie. Man, that, all right, bro, bro, bro. I, you know what, man, San Diego, man, I love it up there. But when I was up there, you know, before we did all this, and I ain't think nothing, I never would have thought, you know what I'm saying, just come together. And and it's beautiful up there, bro. It's beautiful. I love it. Now, going they, up there, you don't really, really you don't realize appreciate it. it, homie. But then you start going to other cities, homie, and <laughs> mm -hmm. you go to take a piss behind the building and mm -hmm. jump across your foot and shit. You be like, oh, man, San Diego is fly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but... How did it's you that end up? downtown district? Yeah. Just how, like anywhere. Yeah, yeah. How did you end up getting phase on? on, on how, you reach out to him? Or, well, y'all figured it out. Yeah, phase on, chop it up all the time. That's that's my homeboy from like from the southeast. You know what I'm saying? We was just chopping on the phone. I just said, my nigga, send me some shit right quick. It's it's it's, it's pivotal. Wow, that's hard. Big worm. <laughs> Big worm for sure. <laughs> yeah, like you know, Cat Williams got at him at the uh, on that on that show. I, I called him. Shay Shay. I said, Faison, this nigga done mentioned your name twice. He still was asleep. I said, Faison, get up, nigga. Get up. <laughs> he went, I, he went, about the time the third time I called I him, he watched it. Shit. He watched it. He watched it. He was like, oh, I see what's going on. I said, okay. But I mean, that's. They be I, going through that shit, man. I, his brothers though, you know. Yeah, I, I love it, bro. I, I love the fact that it's just a part of who we are. The way Faison is, mm -hmm. you know, he from the old school. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of time people can't deal or digest that realness. It's serious. It's organic. It is what it is. You can't take away the fact he been doing this from fourteen to now he's fifty, well, fifty six years old. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crap or fifty five. But at the at the end of the day, you got to respect it because he paid away for a lot of them, and I think that's what he's really focusing on. For sure. Now, so so let's get into it, man. Like the music, what's the name of the new new album? Selective politicking. That sounds crazy already. Selective politicking. Yeah. Um, I just put an album out not long ago. Shout out to Servette that I know. It was like a kind of '80s themed album, as far as the sonically how it was, and it was dope. I had a few records on there with Jay Worthy, E Forty. Shout out Jay Worthy, Forty few homies and shit. Wow, E Forty was on that thing. Yeah, and 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 really, that was like. That was me doing something different than what I normally do. But right now, lately, I've just been seeing this void, homie, for just the authentic West Coast gangster shit. Bad. And that's all I'm on right now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I don't really make music for kids no more and no shit like that. I make music for niggas that... Is there is there an age limit? That's something that I've asked. Age often. limit, as far as when it, when it come down to, it just to, depends on you know what you're saying. It's, it's not no age limit. It's 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 what you want to hear. It's homie. the essence of 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 you know what made our sound popular to begin with. It is a void right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big void right now. And that's why you know we having all these conversations about the artists coming from California. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. why I was telling you with, with the with the the uh, Flacco situation and stuff too. He you know he said some stuff about L.A. artists and. It's messed up too because a lot of artists from San Diego, they get messed up in the head and think like, I gotta go to LA to pop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to we'll we'll go to San Diego, go get money over there and do this and go back and forth and everything. But in San Diego, like like bro said, they rap scene, the DJs ain't playing they shit. They're not right. helping them. They're not playing stuff on the radio. And if it wasn't for certain people out here playing our, you know, playing our songs on the radio and giving us an opportunity, we wouldn't be who we are in this music industry. So that stuff is important. So who are they playing? Well, San Diego is going to be a city, homie, that like, they're going to play everybody else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a sense of a... Uh, it's so many things that go into it, but you got to understand when you're from a city that's two hours away from LA or two hours away from New York or two hours away from Chicago or like 
the artist competing with the artist that's from those places mm -hmm. where there's made it's kind of hard it's not like nobody's going to judge you well he he's independent no they're going to put your shit if we go into the old days your shit be right on the shelf right next to his motherfucking shit ain't nobody giving you no passes on what they're going to pick so come on man we coming up up under fucking dre and snoop and game and kendrick you know it's kind of hard for an indie indie artist to compete with that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. being from a whole nother city you know what i'm saying like that that's one that's that's one reason i mean i'm talking about with the fans the fans are seeing all these lights and all this this big budget shit going on and then you know so being from a major city or being right outside that major city it's already hard to compete with that then the other half is like you know shit san diego is such a small piece of the pie and everybody's scrapping over this one little piece of fucking pie, you know what I'm wow. saying? But it ain't, the reason I pause because it ain't just San Diego. It's all the cities that's outside of the major city. They all mm -hmm. do the same shit. Portland, Denver, Salt Lake City, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these cities got hella, or Oregon got hella artists out there. But just that... Portland too. You know what I'm saying? Portland, homie, just that scrapping over that because the industry ain't there. And like you, the homie said... Like having to leave the city. I hate to hear motherfuckers say that. Well, shit, why a nigga from Atlanta ain't got to leave? Why a nigga from Houston ain't got to leave to get cracking? Why we the only ones that got to leave somewhere to get popping? And that's just that's just the people and the fans. We we, we ain't going to buy into our shit like that. We wow. Everybody hard and tough and shit. You know, it's already, if you a blood, then all the crypts don't like you. Well, not so much right now. It's better but, now. But my time. Your era was the way it just going. sliced it. If you was a blood and you wasn't a superstar already, you wasn't quick or whoever, you automatically have to have your whole fan base is just split down the middle. Wow. And so it's been shit like that over the years that has, that has um, um, stumped. The, the 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 market and shit going where niggas just love San Diego shit in San Diego. I mean, we gonna get it at some point, but we just fighting over nothing, homie. Who was the first artist like when you was coming up that, that inspired you? Gangsta that, Earn. That Gangsta was, Earn. Uh, Wack One Hundred was talking recently about him doing this docu series or whatever it was, a series on this on this cat from San Diego that was like the first artist in Dago to really like come from the streets and put in work for us on the um, scene. He was a brim, homie. He was like a superhero, bro, like damn near to us when we was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. he was really about that life, homie. This nigga was balling. Gang the gangsterest nigga and the ballinest nigga. You know, that don't go hand to hand on mm -hmm. this. Don't. <laughs> no, this nigga riding down the street, shirt off, perm, giving it up, ragtop tray. Go to the house, park that, come back out the next minute. Burgundy rag top, top tray. Ten minutes ago, now he in a slope nose burgundy Porsche, but gang banging though, and rapping, and he was popping. He had us turned in, in something unfortunate wow. it happened to the homie. You know what I'm saying? Like like shit always does in this street life. What was the and what was the first first song that you put out that really me? Yeah, started to take a you know a buzz or just everybody was talking about. You talking about outside or just the one that got me motivated? Like outside the hood, or the one that made you pop. The one that opinion. made you popping, yeah. In your opinion. Well, it wasn't just a song; it was my album. I okay, it was the whole, whole album. album, the whole project. Yeah, the whole project. People call it a classic, lightweight. It's a Trigger Ration Station. I put it out in two thousand and two, officially wow. two thousand and two. And that thing went crazy. I charted on Billboard, like thirteen on Billboard. That's fire. Behind That's behind the East Siders, I think it was at the time. <laughs> and um, this was just me and the homies, and we didn't know shit. Getting to it, that's what we didn't know nothing, bro. Who, who else was who was hot then in L.A. when they he said East Siders? They just was, the East Siders. East Siders was huge. It was. It had to be some more though. It, oh it, no, that was the, it. Was just it was it was that a was bunch. The, but that was the, the yeah. The, 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 the heat. On. Yeah, but hold on. But it was it was not a lot of at the time. Yes, yeah. come on. That's after Pac. That's after yeah. all he had slowed yeah, that's way after down. Pop. The only niggas that really came at the time was like Exhibit mm -hmm. and then Game and then Kendrick for like 10 years. You right. Something you right. like that. You Gorilla right. Black came for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, that was a no, bust a little we while. A, we got some other niggas yeah, that, that we speak, but I'm saying like. Who, that, who that, really made that stamp. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy because when Game came out, he was the only one for a wow, long time. Right. And he seemed like he was the only one too. He, he, had, no, he had he had the West. But he was kid back. and he was working too. Yes, yeah. he was. That nigga was working. Oh no, he, he like he'll get on the mic and just go crazy. 
Yeah, he had to. Yeah, Kendrick. YG came after him. Then, hold on. Then the record mm-hmm. here woke woke shit up. Like, okay, damn, we got some. Maybe we got some some type of action. We wasn't hearing nothing on the radio and independent wise. Well, we actually had a hit record that was an independent record. You know what it was? See, because I was in the business of selling records at the time, so okay. I remember what the at record what time? Was. Like, wait, wait, wait. Let, give, just, give me just, give me the time frame. When it was fucked up, with mm-hmm. nothing popping, and one record was like, ooh, something's on the radio. We got some. From San Diego or L.A.? From West Coast, West LA. Coast, period. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What record? Is and it, when I say it, you're going to be like, yep, watch, what record? Was it this? Is how we do No, 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 no. Before that? The independent record. All independent. That made it like, okay, maybe we can do this shit. Maybe we ain't got to be on goddamn Interscope to make a record pop. Shh. The first record that came out the slump after game and all that shit. Two of them booted? No. Yeah, that's right there, but no. Teach me how to Dougie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teach me how to Dougie yeah, made us. Teach me how to Dougie came. Teach me how to Dougie made us. R.P. Big Y. Ma- yeah. Made me think like, damn, okay, maybe we got action. We got a song on the radio mm-hmm. right now. You know, and Dallas, it was an indie record. I was, I was like in Dallas trying to figure out why y'all just took that song like that. But I know, but I was in Dallas. Good. That shit went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the homie too, yeah. though. I interviewed them. And, and, and hey, that's they, my nigga. You know the homie. Uh, Lil, Lil, Will, Lil, Lil Will. Lil was my nigga. Lil Will was on my show, but I'm saying he was. Lil he, Will. Hey, but, Lil, Lil Will. Uh, uh, but uh, he endorsed the counter when it hey, first happened. He did, though. He did, With the taser on the guy. Lil Will had a bitch with a tape in my nigga. No, it went viral. For real? <laughs> yeah. well, I, you know Lil Will something else, but I recently been talking to those guys. They got a hell of a story if you ever go back and watch right? the show. Yeah, the ones who did that with him, Spain and all. Spain went to prison. Wow. And the guy that was Man, I didn't really know about it. Oh, yeah, them niggas went to the, prison. Remember the first Dougie song? Yeah, the my first Dougie. Dougie. My, my Dougie. Dougie. My Dougie. Yeah, 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 yeah my Dougie. Dougie. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, dude that, that was dancing hard. with him was a dude doing the dance, my Dougie. Mm. It was Spain, right? And uh, Soldier Boy and them started messing with him and all kind of stuff. And they, the two dudes ended up uh, shooting a dude. Y'all probably know the dude, too. And they ended up going to prison. Mm. And it, and that's how the song ended up. They they cleared the fact of the uh, Teach Me How to Dougie. Yeah. They wasn't really with it. They were locked up. They was like, fuck it. But they couldn't do nothing. Cause it wasn't. They show they, homage though. No, no, no. I ain't from Dallas, but I did sound boogie. Uh, Will was cool with that. Yeah, Lil Will was cool with it. But the other two dudes, I'm telling you, I interviewed them. Bad. Yeah, they wasn't with it. But at, they went out. They couldn't really. They mm-hmm. was. They just had to go with the flow of things. It was crazy. But that song was dope and it was big. Both of those songs. Then that one was crazy. Booty. But look, then two didn't booty. I, I, I thought you was gonna say for San Diego. Oh. Rob Stone. Oh, come on. Rob Stone had the biggest record ever. That song was huge. Was that though? It's still big. That's, that record is... What year? That was about four, I remember five that years song. ago. About five years ago. Come on, man. That's the biggest record San Diego ever seen, and that shit's still doing That shit today. was crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I remember. As soon as you did that, I knew out, exactly. I was, like, I was like, oh, they got what? They got what? Shout out to the little homie Rob Stone. Shout out Rob Stone. Stone. Like, and, and, that's, and, and when some take... T- you don't know what's going to take. Mm-mm. You don't know what's going to... It's like waving a... Air over a fire, like some take it, just go. Like, like, what's the fastest song you seen? Man, that I ain't gonna lie. When I heard that in the club, that thing was going crazy. In the club, we were like, wow, it went fire. like crazy. No, I'm gonna tell you the song I seen go. It was crazy how it blew up. Mike Jones. That's, that Mike Jones oh, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember on the radio in LA how they play that shit like 20 over times Over and over wrong. again. What was the song again? Uh, the Who Is Mike, Mike Jones? No, yeah, no, yeah. no. A on, tip on four votes or no, 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 no. Mike Jones, what the one? That one, that one. Who is Mike Jones? Yeah, yeah. they played that shit on on K not K but um Power, Power like twenty times back to back in a row, like twenty times. You kept bringing it back. I was like, God I'm damn. telling you right now, I can put that dude on my show. Do numbers. They love Mike Jones because of the way he's doing he, the real estate, don't he? Yeah, but the way yeah. he marketed himself, I'm telling you. Oh, he was genius. If you go right now, he got a core f- fan base. You hear people, you know, he be getting into it, everybody, because they sampling his music right now without what, uh, getting it clear. Chopper. No, it's not just him. It's about three or four of them niggas because mm. I put it in. <laughs> and they mad at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, 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 and then Rainwater just got, went, got at it about that outside song. They be getting at each other. Like, what? Why do people not want to clear songs? They they think you probably their integrity. Because I'm gonna keep it real. A lot of these remakes is trash. You do correct, but they gotta at least call. You know, back in the old school, you know, you'll give a person a call or you'll say, "Hey, man, let me reach out to him." Well, look what just do. happened, Kanye. He just reached out to um, Ozzy you. Osbourne. You know what I? Think? They was like, "No, that's different." You can't clear our you shit. You know what I think, homie? I think I hate to 
get on the youngsters' heads, but they so much don't give a fuck about rap to where I think they be getting beats from niggas and don't even know these songs nah. already. They don't even shit. know. Somebody tell them this. Hey, flip this one. This is a I mean, big so song much back about then. the history of anything that happened before them to where they don't even know that this was a niggas' hit already. So they and then it's just it probably just got the beat off the goddamn YouTube. internet or some shit. They put the record out. They go crazy. There you go. And that's sad though. Yeah. Because that's it's a sign of disrespect. Mm-hmm. When you think about it, it is. I remember hearing Eric Sherman say that he had some some program where it would you you know it would clear samples for you. You could mm-hmm. go through his app or something and it would clear samples, mm-hmm. which I thought was dope. Because mm-hmm. like, you might not know the person, and it'll tell you if you can use it, if it's clear, and all oh, kind yeah. of stuff. I think that's live. I think we need something like that in this technology because everything is app based or phone based. It's all business though. People they want their money. Mm-hmm. Some people do though. You know, it's some people that that let stuff clear, right? I mean, most of the songs people people try to clear is owned by a label anyway, right? You right. It ain't independent. So, do you think the youngsters say, "Hell, I don't want to deal with none of that. I'm going to put this whole out." Even know. Yeah, you know what I'm going to put this whole out. They don't care. They don't even care. They put that shit on YouTube. We go viral. And this they the show money. Hell yeah, they straight. What do you think about when the bigger ones do it? Like I had a guy, uh, Mobo Joe, shout out uh, in New Orleans, come on my show, and he said that like Glorilla had took his song, and then he showed <laughs> the song, and he showed the sample. I think he tried to put up a lawsuit. Not only him, then that it's up, then it's stuck. Them dudes came out, and they say Cardi B took their song. Mm-hmm. Like, do you? I have seen instances where people do a song. Now the. I've seen it two or three different ways. I've seen a lower artist like that, that can get up, that's independent. I've heard their songs redone by bigger artists. Mm-hmm. They, that just take, all the time. they just take the song. They'll snatch it. And then I see the ones now that, like y'all just said, they may not even knew that it was a big song or anything, and they mm-hmm. just take it in. They run with it because they don't know, or they don't know the song, so they just rap to it. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, they put that out, and nigga be mad. What would you do? What would you do if they took your song? I'm gonna do shit. I'm just gonna let my publishing handle it and get my issue. But see, yeah, yeah, yeah. some people get it took down, but I've heard people say, "Don't take it down. Let them let it blow up first. No, let it get you know to, let it get to a certain <laughs> level, man. <laughs> Don't take it down. Let get, it, your, get your check afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That's the hard part, man. So what's what's up? What, what's uh what's big for you? What what you trying to do this first quarter? I'm I'm talking about the first quarter. We almost through the first quarter. It's almost done. I just started a new clothing line. What? What's the name of it? Triv, Triv where I live. The That's homie, all. The homie, the homie just, he got a few pieces in this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm about to send y'all You got to send me some, right? Sure. Yeah, I've been going hard on that and then putting this album together, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This going to be something special. I got um, I got a few little partners backing me this time, you know what I'm saying? All right. So it's going to be a little, little bit, you know, a little bit more visibility for your boy. Yeah. Yeah, but I do all type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just all around, the, all around hustle. I be rapping because I could do it good. That's it. I recently had uh, Lil Kiki on the show, and he was saying he didn't really, you know, like on the streaming thing. You know, Snoop had voiced his opinion about streaming that you wasn't really just getting a lot of money. But then I heard Kiki what he was saying. He was saying like when they did cassettes and stuff, you didn't know how to make them cassettes. He said it when you look at the whole picture. It opens doors for you to do when you like in Texas, you do shows, you do all kind of stuff. You got to do it yourself now. But he says that the music still does what it's supposed to do mm-hmm. if you work it properly. What do y'all think? I agree with that. You see what I'm saying? No, no, a, it's true though. It's different. Different times is going. You, you should I mean? agree with the way yeah, all these numbers sure. you keep showing me for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> if but, you figure it out. But that's because I know how to move with the times. Some people don't know how to move with the times. Some people are afraid to move with the times too. They like things the way they is. Yeah, and this is book too. It's a free game for y'all. It's called, um, my homie Kenny Hamilton gave it to me. It's called Who Moved My Cheese. Wow, Who Moved My Cheese? Yeah, so read that. Text me that. Please. Yeah, Who Moved My Cheese? And you know, to give you a brief summary, it it tells you the characteristics about people. So they got like two mice, and they got two little people, and the mice, them the ones that, you know. They don't get comfortable. The cheese is there. When the cheese is gone, they don't complain about. They just go get some. They go to look for some more cheese. The little people, they the ones that's like, damn, what happened to the cheese? They depressed over the cheese. I don't want your cheese to stay this way. I don't want to do this. The whole time they complaining, the mice already found some more cheese. Mm-hmm. You know wow. what I'm saying? It's hard. It's so real. you got to get in that mindset of, hey, 
When shit, shit is not going to stay the same forever. You have to be able to, all right, when you see something changing, get right ahead of that, go look for that next bag and continue to move. So, yeah. That's hard. I'll be on my books, my audio gotta, books and everything. Gotta, get that knowledge. You got to read. Yeah. Hey, a P once told me, man, old legendary P once told me, he said, man, listen, man, don't worry about one running off, man. The time you worry about running off, the one that's running off, man, you could be trying to find another one, man. Facts. Straight up. Same, that's real. same game. Same that's real. Same thing. Focus. Mm -hmm. Where's your focus? All right? Mm -hmm. So, when you do this project, do how many how many visuals do we get with it? I ask everybody this question. Mm -hmm. That's one of my main questions. Bro, it ain't no limit to visuals because now you're doing all types of shit. You're doing shorts and you're doing all type of little yeah, them shorts. What you call them? The the the, uh, the um TikTok, TikTok little little stuff reels so, reels. You're doing everything, homie. So I just try to do as much and get as much content as I can get. I don't do a whole lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, as much as I should. Mm -hmm. Most of my fan base, they just rocking with me, you know what I'm saying. I don't have no big, giant fan base, but the ones that I have across the country, and even some out the country, they really lock in with me, you know what I mean? Is it in? So it, I don't be doing the whole bunch, but maybe this time I'll do a little extra shit, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. Is it, Con yeah. Content is king. Is, 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 I, I'm, I'm old school, so I like tangible items. You know, if you do a project, you know, I'm, I'm going to pull up on you and buy. But the merch, though? Uh, you know, I'm going to buy something from you. The merch, yeah, I'm going to make I'm gonna make the fly shit for you to have that's going to go along with the project. And not even just clothes, just all type of shit that you, you know, supplies that you use every day. I yeah, make all yeah. shit. Yeah. I done made everything with my merch from... From skateboards to lowriders to goddamn, I had a remote. When the project come out? This one right now. I no, no, I'm saying pieces. when the project yeah, come out, you yeah. got pieces that really Skateboard. ride with that. Hell yeah, I that's hard. Drops. That's hard. Me and my group, Strong Arm Steady, we even did a drop with um with um with um with Diamond Diamond Supply. Like I didn't did a few. Yeah, collabs. yeah. Shout out Diamond Supply. They, are they still around? Still doing their thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it, you know I used to sell it a lot. It was hot there for a second. Oh, you know yeah. these brands come and go. Yeah, you some know? do, some don't. Trey the Truth, he always do his um, listening parties there. Oh really? Yeah, Diamond Supply for sure, for sure. Shout out yeah. to my Shout bro out Trey, to Trey too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Out yeah. I, you been down the Trey Day? Come on, man. Yeah. You 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 also y'all rock that Trey. I hadn't been to one, and I'm man, in Texas. He had a he had a camel. Out I talked there. to him on the phone, but I, I was like, I, I love what he doing. Parties at South by Southwest too. Trey opened up one of them boombox stores in Dago, and we we did a little yeah. a little drop down there. He I, gave I, me I, a dope. I went out there in Texas. He gave me some boom boxes. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, you were down there with Trey Day when I interviewed you, right? And I would just, I just come down the, the first The first time I went, that's where I first met like DC Young Fly. I first was that met that Wallow. Year? I seen you down there, homie. Yep. That was that year? Yeah. Remember Slim Fo was with us? Slim Fo was that year? That was the year. Yeah. No, I that was it. South By. I thought, you, I thought you was talking about South By South. No, no, that was South By. Trade Day. Yeah. South wow. by Southwest. I used to go there every year too. That is crazy. Shout out to the homie Lil Boss, man. Yeah, that boss. A and NK mm -hmm. Tongue. Yeah, that. my niggas. Oh, man. That, that's, it's crazy how, how you go. You got people that's getting they do they have guys y'all got days out here anybody got the something going to where I'm asking now it's crazy that you said it because no we why don't not like, we don't like each other that much out here uh -huh. so y'all ain't nobody showing no love at the park like hey let's come down here and do this nah. for your day that's a different they yeah. have they have never certain, certain people have certain days but it's more like towards a community it okay. ain't like no how Trey got everybody coming together. You got to think about it. You know, I got to, you know what? Matter of fact, I got to give a shout out to Mr. Hey. Fab. Okay. Mr. Fab just had Mr. Fab week. Yeah. I was just out there in the Bay. It was a whole so week a thing out there in the Bay. Wow. So yeah, he got that. He got that out there. It ain't nobody really in uh, LA that got that. I know they got one of Dago, huh? But you got to realize yeah. what Trey did. Like, Trey was one every time oh, something no, go wrong, bad, whatever. It. This nigga was there. He's in the boat. But then, too, the, the hospitality as well. Oh, down in the south for sure. He going to get your flight. He going to yeah. get your rooms. He oh, gonna he going to do it. all that. He going to do all that. I don't know no nigga in L.A. that's going to do that. We got to start somewhere. We, we get got nigga, to. We buy four on. niggas in the room. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It start. You can't be before. done, and just bring a few in, bring a few, and and try. You know what I mean? Because even even Lil Kiki got seven one three day. Like that's his day. Mm -hmm. Seven one three. Like all of them got things going. You know what I mean? That's I think big. That, that's big, man. And the Houston got a way that they do things, man. That's a little bit different than others. Hey, would you want? Hey, would you want an AD day, homie? That'll be hard. Huh? Honestly, yeah. That'll be no. hard. You know why I asked him that? Why? Because I wouldn't want one neither. That's why. I why? Had to <laughs> why would you want a day? You, you want to know why? Man. I got too many. I got too many homies. Yeah, from all different places and walks in life. Mm. And you cut it off. Mm. Okay. Too many homies from all different walks of life. Mm. That eventually, that should go bad. 
Really? And I wouldn't want yeah. nothing bad put on my name with with that. Exactly. But you got to understand, man. You, I see how you looking at it, but it's a build up. It's a build up, but. but I mean, well, it, it don't start off like Trey didn't just start off with Trey Day and it was just good. Yeah, but our game ain't politics. Off, it eat. was some floods. It was some all kind yes. of stuff, bro. It's been some things that happened out here, some key moments. And as you grow, yeah, so people still going to get killed. I hear people you. still going to die. But our politics is different out here. Like our game ain't politics. Did you hear different. what I just said? I know. People going to die. They going to die anyway. They going to die. But to me, that's one of the biggest stigmas with California. Is that we're held back, and I, I literally just talked about this on my show. I told I told certain you know members in the room, Bloods and Crips. I said, "Would you do a business with your direct enemy?" And everybody's like, "Hmm." Half of it is no, half of it is like, Ugh. "That's what you're gonna have to deal with every time. Every single time you're gonna have to deal with that." Yeah. Well, I still say. We got to start somewhere. We do. It helps we our do. people. I don't care. It. it, it I, I. I get it. I'm not from here. I don't know what it's gonna take. But if you could just get one, if you could save one, that's the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? And you guys are very, you know, influential. So, mm -hmm. just to come together. When you oh, you will come together and get that bag. Mm -hmm. Even then, you, you, you still you come together look, and get that bag. Like minded individuals. People Everybody come to your show, like they support you, they come to watch you. They, you got a lot of fans out here. Facts. You got a lot of people watching you. It's a lot of people that you influence. We don't know what can happen. But E, I'm one of them few that is, is mind is elevated. You know what I mean? I'm not looking at stuff like that. You know what I mean? This is my big bro. He's a blood. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I come from where I come from. I don't see no color lines. It's just nothing but respect. Everybody don't move like that. And that's why somebody like me could be in the position that he's in. You can't have that same mentality and think you about to continue to move up in these ranks like that. You're going to crash out. You're putting time. yourself out there. And the thing is, it's like this. Yeah. 99.9% .9 everybody might be with whatever you got mm -hmm. going on. But when you got to think about coming home to your family every night and to your kids, is it really worth it? To be able to say I'm 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 knowing that I'm gonna step out here in that point zero one percent ain't gonna be that one motherfucker that don't like what's going on today and now either I gotta do something to him he gotta do something to me these type of events like that and just to bring all that there and put my face in the front of that it'd be too much hatred and shit and I hate to say that homie you know what I'm saying because I don't want it to be like that I want us to I want us to get money together. The same way, but and, and me and the homie can do that. I know. But it, it, I'm saying as a whole, it can happen. I mean, not as a whole, it can happen. At, between me and him, it can, it can happen. happen. But it always is. It only take that one individual homie to shock away the whole whole. And we can we can sanction. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's all about respect. We can sanction what we're doing mm -hmm. and bring people in little by little. Mm -hmm. But if we just have a, uh, we doing a Missy Slick day. You <laughs> know what I mean? Right. The police ain't gonna let that happen. It's just slick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep that? Oh, Look, shit. you don't even want to go to your own shit. Nah, I don't want to go to that shit. <laughs> you ain't going? Hell no, nah, I ain't what going to do? that. Okay, we do a Mitch's Slick Day right. in Vegas. Right. Oh, you in Vegas? We got to change yeah, it. Yeah, you can do it in Vegas. Go up, though. <laughs> Mitch's Slick Day, hey, I lived in Vegas for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I told them streets up, See, man, for a long time. You know, time. property is not under in his own country. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might have to do it. Here. You had to come to Dallas and do it. Do an 80 day in Dallas? Yeah, you got to do I'll something. I'll do that. Go up. Yeah, but it's going to come right back home. People mm -hmm. going to be like, man, that ain't going to, man, when you going to do it out here? It's going to come back. It's going to blow up. Yeah, AD. You, 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 you go ahead, man. I think you need to try that, AD, man. <laughs> Nobody want to be dumb, over homie. You know what? Yeah. Right in Compton, homie. <laughs> right over there, homie. It ain't happening. But right. you got to think about it. It's because you got to realize, man, y'all. Man, it's, it's hard, man. You, you know, Martin Luther King, people, a leader, it's tough. You know, uh, uh, you know, a good shepherd is willing to die for his sheep. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's a tough thing to be a leader, bro. I think I was meant to live for my sheep. Right? Yeah. You know, I think, I think, I think. I agree with I, you I on that one. A different, different one for me, man. You ain't going out like that. Nah. 
<laughs> yeah, man, I done sat down and talked this out plenty of times. Nah, I think, I think, I think God want me to stay out here, man. Yeah, that's well, you being yeah, out here me definitely makes a difference. Shit, homie. That's real. That's yeah. real, man. Man, I, hey, I appreciate you for coming on the much show, love, man. We gonna shut love. it down, but man, I just like I say, man, I was happy that that I got to get you on the show. You gonna come to Dallas and rock out with come me? On, man, I used to live in Dallas, homie. I owned a home in Dallas, man. So you gotta pull up on me. I, I don't know all that much about Dallas, but I got some homies out there. In, 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 in Fort Worth too, man. Yeah, Fort Worth. Shout Straight out. Up. Yeah, yeah. Fort, it's right there. DFW. Oh, That's six, what they homie. call it. Do, do they still stop got the Stop Six? six yeah, yeah, it's going down. Man, somebody told me they was trying to, they did. They trying did. to get rid of Stop yeah, Six yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the homies down there in oh, Stop Six. Oh, but the six. people still there. For sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> like, it ain't. It yeah, ain't they it. doing it all over the country, homie. This gentrification shit is a motherfucker. It is bad. It is. It is, man. How can people get a hold of if they trying to reach out, man? Mitchie Slick. Y'all know my name, my Instagram. All my shit is just Mitchie Slick. Check me out. And then, but really, I want you to go tap in to TrevWileLive.com, y'all. Um, I got a couple pieces and shit here, but no, it's just. Bring them up? Uh, hey, man, th throw me one Come of these. Come on over here, man. We got to put these up. Just, this is just a t shirt that kind of represents what's going on here, but if you got the. Man, feel that fabric, man. Feel oh, that, man. Nice. Feel that, man. <laughs> feel it, though. Look at the tags, all the inner stitching, everything, all the everything, nice. homie. I'm making dope fly every day. Gear for 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 cats that like maybe ain't all the way with that European shit. Street niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I make shit for street niggas, man. It right, don't Fly it. shit that right. fit right, homie. I make four X's and five X's and shit. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, I like how you got the black, the blue, and the red. Come on, it represents yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah, the tri like the triv represent. The tri the black represent the triv, and then the red and blue represent why it's the triv. <laughs> you feel me? And on the left side is the red, and on the right side is the blue. So you know that's triv. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, man. For sure, for Straight sure. Up, homie, man, yeah. th hey, man, that's beautiful, man. Yeah. Thank you for coming Much on the love, show, homie. man. Much love. Hey, man, if you guys want to see more clips of, of my guy, man, Mitchie Slick, man, make sure you check out the next clips coming up under this one right here. And, man, hey, man, um, AD, man, you came out, man, show love to Boss Talk. Man. One one today. Family, I told you know you. what I'm saying. I love you, bro. Come on, always, family. You, you know always that. support me. Yeah, that's one thing I love, man. There's some guys out here that really rock with Boss Talk One on One. People be trying to figure out how they boy be in LA like that. I, I pull up because these are my people. I, you know, it's something about my people, bro. I always go to them. I don't care what city, and that's crazy. But that's probably why I be everywhere like I do. But it's because of guys like you. Hey, but you blessed though, man. man I'm God, blessed, God do that. Yeah, that's God with, do with that. The good peoples though. That's that's God, bro. So yeah, that, thank y'all, man. Thank Thank you for coming on the show, Mitchie, man. What's I know up, you man. you owe me to come to Dallas now. Come on, homie. I love to come to Dallas. We gonna hey, kick Dallas, my, Dallas is one of my favorite cities. I, I would want to move back to Dallas, homie. What? I love Dallas. Carrollton, homie. I was out in Carrollton. Ooh, they want to tell you in Carrollton. Yeah. yeah, straight up. That's hard. You know the city. Yeah, a little bit. Not all the way. A little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. Okay, it's been another great I know about DGs, too, though. Oh, you know about DGs? Yeah. But, oh, oh, oh. That's crazy. That's true. See, that's true. Hey, you see the reflexes, bro? Right. That's true. I had to say to homie. When that right. happened, and shit, that's true. Hey, and, you and I it? didn't catch that. I catched that on the, on the camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, listen, man. Check us out, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Much love. Already. We got